Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sunstone and in today's video we're going to be doing something just a little bit different from the usual. I thought it would be fun and informative to go through some of the recent developer diaries together and see if there's anything that we can pick out that maybe points to some unreleased, unrevealed game features or just to give us a better idea on where the team's at with development outside of the official monthly updates that we've been receiving. I'd love to do these regularly if you all like them. I do think the developer diaries have so much valuable information in them that a lot of people don't have access to if you don't have Discord. Let's just get right into it. So the team posts these developer diaries essentially every weekday and they have been doing this for quite a while. So there's like hundreds of entries and up to date, I think I've picked out mostly anything that would be interesting or exciting and tried to include it in either the podcast or in one of my channel videos. For the sake of starting somewhere, we're gonna look at the latest three developer updates. So November 1st, the day after the 0.04 update released, the highlight of their day was working on cooking item icons. They noted that they all look so delicious and made them want to eat them in real life and I can totally relate to that because just looking at all the icons from the revealed cooking UI that we saw in the official update definitely got me hungry for sure. The edamame, the nigiri, the pumpkin pie. It all just looks so delicious and delightful and I'm just so excited to eventually see more items and their icons. So something that's super interesting to me in this developer diary is actually the very first thing here, which is a redacted festival sign. So anything that says redacted is something that's been taken out or censored from the post because it's an element that they're not ready to reveal yet. So that means that they are working on an unrevealed festival. And as of now, the festivals we're aware of are the Cherry Blossom Festival, the Beach Cleanup Festival, the Pet Race Festival, and the Color Throw Festival. I believe they all technically could be subject to change other than the Cherry Blossom one. I'm pretty sure they're quite far into working on that one. So I'm pretty sure that that one's like 100% gonna be in the game. But it definitely gets me wondering what sort of festival they could be working on right now that they haven't revealed. I don't know. I wonder if they're working on like a fall festival in the spirit of the season. Let me know in the comments what sort of festivals you would like to see in the game. I feel like the options are endless. They're working on quite a lot of interiors. So Connor's bedroom, Frank and Erica's living room, the pufferfish building. It seems like they've been adding more details and assets into the mines, which I'm really excited about because I love seeing that refreshed interior of the mine in one of the recent updates. I love all the little props and little details. I think it makes the environment way more interesting. They're working on Jim's house and Starlet school, which I can't wait to see the school. I'm really excited. I have no idea like what to expect at all. And I believe this may be revealed soon because as far as I'm aware, it is supposed to be a part of the Woodlands area. And in the last developer update, they said that in the next update, they will open up access to that area. So there's a couple more redacteds here. So one is with regards to outdoor props and they've also censored an interior theme block out. So this is likely for a building or a room within a building that has yet to be revealed. And this could be, I mean, really anywhere on the island because there's still so many areas that we've yet to see. This next redacted is actually very interesting because it's referencing a person. So they're working on someone's room. This is almost definitely one of the unrevealed characters that debuted in the Kickstarter, but also made a very spooky appearance as shadow people in one of the featured Halloween bugs as well as the September update. So I'm just really curious about these characters. I can't wait to meet them and see how they interact with the others, if they're related to the others, how their stories interact with Coral Island, what their roles are on the island, so on and so forth. More interiors like Leah's room, other rooms in the mansion, Dippa's house. There's another redacted here referencing an animation. So this could be some sort of game mechanic that is yet to be revealed or an activity, maybe more specifically. For example, we know that some of the NPCs practice yoga so what other hobbies maybe could they be involved in or activities on the island that they would need an animation for the next diary was posted on November 2nd and their highlight that day was finishing the 3d model of their favorite resident Ben I can't wait to see Ben's 3d model they also were working on a new concept for his caravan which is full of unique items for sale to expand your collections this is another thing I'm just so excited to see I saw some art really early on 
on on the Stairway Games website of a sort of caravan. And ever since then, I just can't stop thinking about and imagining what Ben's caravan might look like. I just want it to be like so awesome and I'm sure it will be because the team's doing a great job. I feel like it's gonna be so interesting to go inside of it because I feel like it'll just have to be one small room. But I'm just imagining how neat it'll be and all of his little knickknacks and crystals and hippie type items. I think it's really cool that we're gonna be able to buy stuff from Ben. It would be really nice if his collections are constantly rotating and super random and perhaps exclusive to him. So that would definitely give incentive to go visit him regularly and just see what kind of cool things he has. It's interesting to note that Karen actually will have her very own office at Pufferfish. <laughs> I can kind of picture it in my mind being like super intimidating to go into and sort of cold and modern and maybe dark, I don't know, or just very plain and office-y. I don't know which way it could go, but also building off of this, I believe it was Melanie who commented on the September update when they initially revealed that there were shadow people <laughs> roaming around Coral Island, that the one they showcased in the update actually looked like they were wearing a suit and perhaps that is one of Karen's business partners or co-workers and I actually hadn't even thought about there being like another villain or another Pufferfish employee but it would make perfect sense because because I feel like the odds of having a whole Pufferfish building on the island but only one person employed there doesn't necessarily make sense but it could be. We'll have to stay tuned and see about that. Working on the Cherry Blossom Festival which all I can do is just dream and dream about this because oh my gosh I love cherry blossoms so much. Improving the map which my goodness it's already lovely enough I don't even know. <laughs> now next here they are talking about a salon UI which has me so curious. I can only imagine how beautiful the UI will be because I mean all the UIs are really clean and nice looking but just with the aesthetic of the salon itself I feel like that UI is just gonna be so nice. I've really been wondering about the salon. I've been wondering you know what the incentive is to go there other than of course to like visit with Emily and Erica but I wonder if any of the styles you can get are unique to the salon itself and different from the initial character customization. It seems that we can customize the color of our hair to the full spectrum of the rainbow right from the get-go so I don't know if there will be any exclusive colors. I mean maybe you could get like two different tones of the salon like an ombre kind of or some highlights but yeah I'm just wondering if anything will be exclusive or if it's the only way to change your hair after the initial customization. They're working on some spring insects. Just a reminder that there will be different insects for different seasons and times of day and locations which is so exciting. It seems like there's actually going to be quite a lot of different music for the different seasons and times of day and all that which I really love as well. That's one of my favorite things about Animal Crossing is that there's different music for different hours of the day. Some of those songs just hit different you know like the 5am music on Animal Crossing. My gosh. I feel like I will form similar associations with the music on Coral Island. It'll just give me all the feels, you know? So I'm really excited to hear even more of it because what we've heard so far is very lovely in my opinion. They're also working on the museum donation system, which was sort of mentioned in the latest update. From my understanding, there's going to be the base museum. Initially in the trailer, there was a community project where it looked like we were supposed to build the museum from the very beginning. However, we kind of saw a museum on Starlet Town map, so I don't know if that's the map after we built it or if we start off with the museum and maybe just have to upgrade it because we did hit the upgraded museum kickstarter goal so that we can donate our bugs and fish so I imagine we'll maybe have to donate a certain number of items first to unlock it maybe provide some materials and some money not sure but I love collectibles I love cataloging and collecting things so I'm definitely looking forward to this I'm sure Scott will be very happy about it as well and then the final diary we're gonna look at in today's video is from November 3rd the team was wished everyone a happy Diwali and they actually also shared some really nice art by David to celebrate Diwali. So this art shows Surya, Dipa, and Leah partaking in one of the Diwali traditions with a little coral island spin <laughs> with a coral in the middle. The highlight of this day was the NPC waypoint in the Cherry Blossom Festival. So I believe that means they actually added in the NPC animations and maybe like have them walking around you know point A to point B to point C. So that'll definitely make it more more lively and dynamic and I can't wait to see what sort of animations the characters will have and you know who's talking with who and if they're sitting, standing, dancing, eating, whatever. I'm just really excited for that. I think it's going to be an absolutely gorgeous 
festival because I mean, how could it not be with cherry blossoms? Something that's kind of really interesting to me is that it looks like they're actually creating an entire cat room in Frank and Erica's house. So it might not be very big, but it seems that Peanut and Butter might actually have their very own little hideaway. So that's very cute and very extra. Mayor Connor has a storage room. I wonder what sort of things he's keeping in there. I'm really interested to see how Zara's boat interior ends up looking because in my mind, the inside of a boat is just like, the inside of a boat, but she lives on it and like has a full on living room in there and such. So I can't wait to get an idea of what that's gonna look like. They're working again on the salon UI as well as the clothing shop UI. So like we discovered in the last update, they have officially revealed that there will be a clothing store called White Flamingo. That is where we will purchase our fashions for our player. I kind of hope that we can try on the clothes before we buy them. That's one thing I really do like about Animal Crossing as well is that you can try on the clothes at the Able sisters before you actually purchase them. So I'm crossing my fingers that we'll have that sort of UI for the clothing shop here and it won't be like some other farm sims where you just have to blindly buy clothes until you find something that you like. So that's where I'll leave it today and now it's time for your top comments. So I just wanted to highlight a couple of comments that were left on my last video which covered the October 2021 developer update. Ori said, I know this isn't about Coral Island but I was curious since you seem to like farm Farming, life sim games. Have you heard of the new game Concerned Ape is coming out with Haunted Chocolatier? So in case you're not familiar with Concerned Ape, this is a developer for Stardew Valley. I did see the trailer for it. I probably will be playing it. It looks super cute and fun. They also mentioned a game called Fields of Mystria. I have not heard of that one, so I will look it up. But yeah, they just said I'm super excited for them, just like I am for this game, being Coral Island. The more life sim games for me to play, the better. I love life sim games. I love farming sim games. I am a big fan. I don't really find I have like a ton of time to play them. I do really spend any spare time I have right now just making videos on Coral Island. And then Writing Raspberry just commented notification squad where you at and 13 people liked it which is like huge to me that at least 13 people have their notifications on for my content. Thank you so much. I mean I, I didn't even think about it until I saw this comment that that's like a thing. So I guess if you don't know you can hit the notification bell on my videos and then you'll know when I post them right away because I know sometimes the algorithm can be a little weird on YouTube and you might miss one. So thanks for the reminder, writing Raspberry, and thank you so much for showing up for my content. And before I leave you today, let's take a look at today's amazing fan art. So today I wanted to share some beautiful artwork of Leah by Pigeon. I think it's just absolutely stunning. It matches Leah's aesthetic so perfectly. The color palette is gorgeous. Her eyes, her hair, my goodness, she just looks absolutely absolutely beautiful. As always, I will link her information in the description of this video. Be sure to show Pigeon some love in the comments and thank you so, so much for sharing your amazing art with us. I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know if this is something you'd like to see again in the future. I certainly enjoyed making it. I really enjoy the more casual style of video from time to time. It makes me feel more like I'm just chatting with you guys. I look forward to hearing your take on some of the things we talked about today in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And until next time, take care.